welcome back my beauties and welcome if you're new my name is sheena and if you haven't already please hit the like and subscribe button and let's get into today's set i am back so if you've been subscribed and watching as you can see i've been gone for a whole week and it's just because my family and i just moved into a new home it's super exciting so we're about 75 percent done um, but today I am doing this design here on my nail art book I showed you all before and I had this for about a week and I was going to try to find some downtime in between to kind of throw the set together but I did need my hands nail list to make sure I'm able to put things together help move etc with today's set I'm also going to incorporate these fall leaves and I'm also going to incorporate these black hearts out of this uh, pot from the McCart Hooked on Love decor set. So I did go ahead and do all my normal prep off camera. I pushed back my cuticles, went around the cuticle with a needle drill bit just to remove any dead skin. And because I haven't had nails in a while, there was quite a lot of dead skin. I then roughed up the surface of my natural nail with a fine grit sanding band, went in with McCart's dehydrator and two coats of Young Nails Protein Bond, and today I'm going to be using Enel Couture's Extreme Square uh, 1, 2, 3 Gold Tips. These are pre-etched, so I just applied them with base coat gel, and I did rough up the surface of the tips, and you now see me going in with a layer of base gel that I will cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. So this is my first Halloween set of the season and it's a lot going on this month that I just realized. So it's autumn, um, it's also Halloween, it's breast awareness month. So there's a lot of different designs I have like just jumbling up in my head. Um, but I'm going in on all of my nails besides my ring with this pink shade by Model Ones by the name of Dancing With Me. And I'm just going to apply two coats. So I do only apply one coat on camera. And then the second coat I do do off. And I make sure in between each layer, I do cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. So it's a Halloween set today. And the pink is representing uh, the breast awareness part of the month. Um, so with each set, I'm going to try to incorporate a little bit of everything. So um, the breast cancer awareness as well as Halloween maybe. And then of course fall or autumn as well once i get the second layer of this pink shade down i'm now going in with the nail art portion on all of the pink nails so i'm taking this mccart nail art brush and this one is in a number three um during the move i'm not sure where i placed my favorite one the mccart um number one so i had to go ahead and end up using i'm sorry this is actually mccart number uh, this is number three sorry this is number three but the bristles on number three when I first got it I kind of messed them up so it wasn't performing like it should I mean it started off okay but then the bristles kept separating from each other whether it had gel polish on it or not um, so you'll see me uh, switch to a nail art brush which is teal and that's going to be McCart's number three brush and that one performed okay but overall number one is my favorite um, but I did make do so I'm basically going across my index like you see here with two slanted lines one towards the top one towards the bottom and then I'm going to take that same brush after I do freeze cure that with my mini lamp and I'm just making stitches across both of these lines once I get all of my lines set how I want I do do a, a <laughs> I do do <laughs> I again use my mini um, lamp and I go ahead and flash cure for about 10 to 15 seconds so that the gel polish basically dries up and doesn't move anywhere while I'm going on to the next part of this design so for my index it was kind of like a pumpkin face I was going for with the stitching in it um, so after I do finish my stitches and then freeze cure that I'm going to go into the center of this nail and make two eyes a nose and a mouth with stitches in it to complete this nail once I get all of that set I again go in and cure in the lamp for 30 seconds so a lot of you that watch me I am subscribed to your channel and I have been trying to play catch up on that as well so I am subscribed to so many channels and like just missing a day of YouTube just kind of backs everything up and I'm kind of like 
going channel by channel and trying to kind of catch up on everyone's videos so just know that if i am subscribed and you have not seen me yet you will see me soon i'm making my rounds and making sure that i do full views of everyone's videos and show my love and support to all of my youtube family And I also forgot to mention that the black polish I'm using comes from a, it's a Beatles black gel polish. Um, and it came in a set of two, so it came with a black and a white. And I've had this for quite some time. Um, I absolutely love the consistency of this gel polish, the coverage. Um, it's a very nice gel polish. And I love that it came in a set with white because black and white, obviously those are two of the most used colors when it comes to nail art. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited and happy about this gel polish and I'll leave the link for it down below. So on my middle finger, I'm again taking the black and I'm just going to make a line halfway down the nail, um, not quite to the center, but just down the nail, a, a bit of ways. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to be making two spiders that kind of meet in the middle. Um, so the line going down is sort of like coming from the web um, in my eyes. <laughs> and I'm going to freeze cure this line once I do get that set. And then for the body of the spider, I decided I wanted to try and use rhinestones as opposed to drawing them. So I did use, um, I thought it was black before I opened it, but once I opened it, they're really, really pretty, like dark, dark purple stones out of McCart's newest rhinestone decor kit, the one that came with the different colors. So I'm using a big one for the body, and then I'll use a very small one for the head. And then for the legs, I am going to go ahead and actually draw those out with my nail art brush. Um, and then I make sure to cure in between each set of legs. So I'll start with the back legs. Once I get those two set, I go ahead and use my flashy and, you know, just do a quick cure. Um, and then I go in with the middle legs and do the same thing. And it's, it's really important that when you're doing nail art, and especially when you're doing a lot of different lines and things, you do kind of want to cure in between every little thing you do as not to mess it up. Um, because when I initially started this, I kind of tried to go in and just draw it, you know. And I was making little mistakes, but the, the gel polish was like kind of flowing together as well because it's wet. So that's just another tip that when you're doing nail art, it is important to try and like just at least flash cure as much as possible so that you don't mess up your lines or have to erase it and like clear off your nail and go over it again. It's less work if you take your time and you make sure just to flash cure as much as possible.
So once I got the first spider completely done, I believe I do flash cure, but I also go into my big lamp for a full 30 seconds to make sure that everything is completely set in stone on that one before working on the bottom. And so for the bottom spider, I'm doing the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and start from the bottom, go up like not to the middle, but almost to the middle, and I'm gonna flash cure. Um, and then I'm going to place those rhinestones for the body and then I will go ahead and start in with the legs the same way I did on the top. Oh, I almost forgot I did add little antennas as well on my spider. So super cute. I love how these spiders came out. They came out way better than expected. Um, I drew it on paper and then I just transferred it to my nail and it came out super cute. So at this time, I would like to take the time out to thank anyone who has watched any one of my videos. It is greatly appreciated and watching my videos to the end does actually help me out quite a lot. Also to my subscribers, I do want to thank you so very much. I love you all and I appreciate your continued love and support. I appreciate how I've been gone a week and I still have certain subscribers that have still been coming by on certain videos and commenting, even though I believe they already have. I mean, it just shows how much support there is here on YouTube. And I thank you all so much. So I never really get excited for Halloween. I mean, it's an okay holiday. I mean, I, the candy, I guess, is the best part. And I don't really even eat candy. So, <laughs> I mean, it's okay. For the kids, you know, it's okay. But the last couple of years, I've kind of been doing a thing where we stay home and I just go let them get a big bag of a variety of candy as if they've trick-or-treated and we stay home, watch movies, just enjoy each other's companies. And that's something that we've been doing now for like the past three years. Um, so this year we, we have COVID still, but everything's kind of lifting a little bit. So I just wanted to see where the kids' heads were, what they wanted to do. And they said they wanted to be the ones that actually give candy this year. And we do the same thing we've been doing. So just go get some candy, stay home, relax, watch some movies, and just chill. And so that's what we plan to do this, this year again. And, you know, I just love that my kids think how they think and are how they are. I mean, we do go out and do a lot of things and have fun. But I, I love how they know their restraints and what they feel, you know, as, you know, with Halloween, a lot of things can happen um, just on a normal basis, even pre-COVID. Um, so I don't know what made us convert to actually staying in and just buying our own candy and just enjoying the night, doing s'mores, watching movies, things like that. But we kind of converted a few years ago and it's been going great. Now, if ever in the future, especially when things get much better, they want to go back out and trick or treat, I'm all for it. So I'm sitting here rambling and I've already started on my pinky. But with my pinky, basically all I'm doing is just making stitches all over my nail. So I'm just making random lines all over the nail in different directions. Once I get these first set of lines set, I'm going to go ahead and just freeze cure that into place. And then I do, do go back in on every line and just make the stitches all over this nail. So it's a full stitch nail. And once I do get the entire nail done, I do cure in the lamp for 30 seconds.
So on my ring finger, I'm going in with two full layers of the um, Black Beetles gel polish. And in between each coat, I do go ahead and cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. So initially on this nail, I was going to do like a lot of little ghosts and then a couple of the boo word in between the ghosts, but the nail wasn't as long as I thought it out to be. So I then decided to just go in with one really big ghost and then write the word boo underneath in the pink just to kind of tie in that pink with this set as well. And I think this set came out pretty cute. So I just outline my ghost first and then I fill her in and then cure her. And then I go in and use the black gel polish to make the eyes and the mouth. And then, like I said, underneath, I make the word boo with an exclamation mark in pink. And then once the nail is fully done, I do go ahead and cure that whole lamp, that, excuse me, <laughs> that whole nail in the lamp for 30 seconds. So this is my very first Halloween set I've ever had done ever like on myself like from a salon and of course me doing it myself this is my very first set of Halloween nails I mean the kids were pretty excited and ready to see what I came up with and once I was done they were absolutely in love and just couldn't stop looking at my nails just in awe how you know wonderful it is and what kind of art nails really are um, to be able to draw on such a small canvas is a challenge, but it's also very rewarding as well. Um, also on my thumb, I did not show it because my video is like pretty long as it is. And I have sp sped up a lot of the video because of how much detail I left in. But on my thumb, I made a very big web, you'll see. Um, and it came out okay. Um, I had to kind of like erase it a few times. Um, because it's a really big web so like the whole thumb is just a web um in black and so it came out really really cute um but like i said the video is a little lengthy now so i didn't want to leave that in um so i did not show that but you will see a clip of that at the end So next I'm going in with a layer of base gel and I'm going to leave that wet and just randomly on every nail I'll be placing the maple leaves and the hearts on the nails just randomly. I just wanted to give it a little extra something to each nail and I felt like they went just fine. Um, so like I said I did that for each nail and then I did go ahead and cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. And then lastly, I went in the cuticle area on my index, middle, and pinky. And I just added some more of those dark purple rhinestones right at the cuticle area on each of the nails. 
Um, and that just completes my set. So after that, I did go ahead and cure in the lamp for 30 seconds. To adhere the rhinestones, I am using McCard's rhinestone glue. I do highly recommend this glue is amazing. Since I've been using it, none of my rhinestones come off at all. Um, haven't had that problem. And then when it comes to like take down, depending on what type of set I do, oh my goodness, it's kind of hard to get them off, but it's worth it. It's worth it. then I go in and just top coat all of the nails basically trying to secure in those glitters and make sure that they are you know just encapsulated as best as possible but I am going on each finger with a layer of top coat and once I'm done I do cure in the lamp for 30 seconds And my last and favorite step is my cuticle oil by Kiera Sky in the scent of lavender. And I'm just moisturizing my cuticles and bringing some moisture back to my nails. And here's the finished set. Super girly, super cute. I love everything I did with the set. If you're still with me, let me know what you think of my set down below. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the post notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future sets. I want to thank you all so very much for taking the time out to be here with me today. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you and much love.